Welcome back to Train Simulator 2017 and it's me, LaserJet, and today we are going to be doing another speed test! Woo! Everyone loves my speed test so much, but this is going to be a different one because we are going to be using electric locomotives representing the United States of America. We have the Acela Express and it's actually quite, it's actually, I think it's the tallest out of all of them. Yeah, I think, um, look how big the Acela Express is compared to the... British thing, I don't know what this is called, god knows what this thing is called, but uh, representing the, uh, I don't know where the ice train's from, Italy or something, I, d I don't know, I don't know where the ice train's from, but representing the ice train, we have the ice train, representing France, we have the TGV, and representing UK, I, 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 this, this is not a good start, is it, I mean, I've got a lot of electric locomotives here, I only know two of them, well, I know three, the ice train, the Acela Express, and the TGV, but god knows what this thing is, and... Represent the, the UK, eh? Obviously, I don't know the name of it, but if you look, it is ridiculously small. Like, the, like the, compared to all the trains, like the size of them, like, they're, they're all roughly the same size, but the one in the UK, I mean, look at that's just pathetic. I mean, it just, it just makes the UK look small, and, you know, the UK is small, but that is not the point. We need to up a game if we want to take if we want to be taken in this competition seriously but today we're gonna to be doing the speed test and see which one makes it down the further so the first loco we're gonna be driving is the Acela Express so you guys are ready I'm ready let's do this okay now since this is a different kind of speed test um, because you know it's got overhead wires this is actually a new one that I actually made myself um, it may not be as high if you look down it's not it may not be as high as my other speed test but it certainly is really long so we're gonna see how fast and how far the Acela Express can go and hopefully the, the automatic brake system won't come on and that would be a bum if it does because we don't we do not want that because this top speed limit is 125 I mean obviously the TGV could probably do 300 I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a train expert, as I said before, but let's just see who, how well and who does the best. I, actually, I think out of all of them, I'm going to put my money on TGV, because TGV is quite good. Right, put power off, we just want to roll now, and just go down the hill, because look, if we put full power on, we're have, we have a better chance of derailing, so if we just roll and roll, it'll just, it'll just it'll, it'll, we have a better chance of survival here. And look, we're still speeding up, even though I've got no power on. It's just rolling down the hill. So I think this is actually going to be a really good speed test. Well, I think so. I hope you guys think so too. If you don't, then, you know, shh. This was not my idea. But I have to say, there are a lot of Americans who are watching this. So if there's any Americans out there, I hope I don't damage your trains too much. So anyway, I mean, a lot of you do like the Acela Express. Some of you don't. But, you know, I I, um, I actually quite like the Acela Express, even though it's not U it's not from the UK. But in that case, don't doesn't matter. I actually do like the Acela Express. And I like the way it looks. I love the sound effects. But um, I don't actually like... I don't really... I mean, I don't know if that's the actual horn of the Acela Express. Probably is. But I don't actually like the sound of that horn. Oh, we're doing, we're almost doing 60. Let's put power on full and see how fast we can really go. Because we want to see how well this thing could really fly. So far, nearly 100 miles per hour and everything's going fine. It doesn't seem to be wobbling. If, if this speed test is going really well. No, no, nothing's bobbling. Nothing's, nothing's, everything's fine. Everything is completely fine. I don't, I don't know what I was so worried about. Maybe I should do, like, the 14XX or the, the E2 Tiger John. Maybe I should try Flying Scotsman on this one because it's not so steep. I think we could, I, if, if I try this on Flying Scotsman, I reckon we can get Flying Scotsman up to at least 200 miles per hour. I, th I think we could do that because this thing would probably do 200 miles per hour. No problem. And look at this, how fast it's going. It's going really fast. Uh, 2090. I think that's... Uh, I think that's the name. Of, I think that's the number of the year that it's got left. Because 2019, I think that's the last year this thing will ever be running. So that's just a message to you guys out there that this thing is going to go out of business soon. Well, I hope not. It's actually quite a good-looking train. 150 miles per hour and not even a bump or a bubble or anything. This is this is actually really smoother. Let's go. Let's go inside. See, look, we're not we're not moving around too much. This is really smooth. This uh, Acela Express is doing really well. Oh, here we go. Acela Express. Uh, where does it say where it's going? Uh, Acela Express doesn't tell us. What, or do, does it just say Acela Express over and over again? It probably does. Um, oh, we're starting to bubble just a tiny bit. It's like the tiniest bit, but we're still doing 160 miles per hour. Oh, that was a bit of a bump. That was a uh, quite a big bump. But I th look, we've 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 reached it top, its top speed already. Can we get to 162? Come on, get to 162. Let's let's see the the the, uh, the speed go up. Oh, it's 161, the fastest it will ever go. 
Mm, yeah, I, th I don't know. I think that's the I think that's the fastest that the Excel Express is ever going to go. And actually, it's doing quite well. I mean, look at the speed of this thing. Let's get a cool shot. Whee! Oh, <laughs> zoomed in too much. Oh, that, never mind. Oh, for some reason, we're starting to slow down. I don't know why we're doing that. Let's put this thing up on full. Don't know what this thing does, but it looks quite promising. That might help us go faster. It might not, but then again, I don't know. I know nothing about trains, but in that case, don't bother. Let's see where we are and how far we've got to go, because we're almost at the bottom. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, we're nearly at the bottom, guys. I think the Sun Express can do it. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Let's see, look, there's the bottom right there. Excel Express, I think, has completed the speed test. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are we going to stop in time? I forgot, I, I, I forgot the end of the line was actually right there. Oh, fantastic. Well, I, I, I wasn't worried. I, uh, I was not worried. I was, um, everything was good. I was, um, I was calm. I knew Excel Express would do well. Fantastic. So, Excel Express, uh, 10 out of 10. Success. Top speed, 161. Let's put that down in the book. And I think we're ready for our next locomotive or train or whatever. I don't know much about trains. I don't know. I'm dumb. Okay, so the Estella Express did quite well for its first run. I was ex I was not expecting that, if I had to be honest. So, the next local we're going to be using is the Ice Train... I think it's a, the Ice Train 2. I'll just call it Ice Train 2. I think that's its name. It's, it's a two-something, I'd rather. As I said, oh, I keep saying this, but I'm, I'm not a train expert, guys. Don't judge me. But let's see how well the Ice Train can do. Let's see if we can beat America's top speed at 161 miles per hour. I wonder how fast the ice train could go. 80 miles per hour. So far, off to a flying start. And so far, not even a bump or a judder or anything. This thing's really smooth. This is actually the, one of the best speed test runs I've ever done without actually failing. This is actually quite good. 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 100. Bit of a bump. I think... I don't know how fast this thing could actually go. I, w I want to see if we can get part at least past 150. That's our goal. Let's see if we can get the ice train at least past 150. 123, 124, 125, 126. Go! Come on! 128, 129, 130. Yeah! Ice train, you are mm, you are smashing this competition at the moment. But let's not get ahead of our. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just see what would happen. Because we're almost at 140. Could we beat the Acelic though? Can we beat the Acelic Express? I just don't know. But this thing is really moving. Look at the speed of this thing. Look at that thing go. 153. Yes, we beat 150. 154. 155. Come on, get to 156. 156. 157. Bit of a bump was sort of bouncing around a bit. 158, 159, get past 160. Come on, 160. Yep. Yeah. Can we get to 161? 161, can we beat the Excel 162? Yes! We've beat the Excel at 162, 163. This thing's still picking up speed. 164. Look at the speed of this thing now. Look at that. And listen to the sound it's making. This thing's going like a bullet train. Look at it go! Go! Come on! Look at it! That thing's really moving now! 172! Yes! 173! It's still picking up speed! This thing's going really, really fast! Look at him! Ice Train, I always knew you'd do well, but I didn't thought you'd do this well. 15, 175, sorry. I said 157. I meant to say 175. I'm getting all my numbers mixed up. 176! This thing can go faster. I reckon this thing can go faster. 178. And I think we've just reached... Well, we're coming up to the end of the line. See, look, there's the... Yep, there's the end of the line. Oh, God, come on, get to 180. Please, 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 180. Just one more miles per hour. One more, one more. Please, please, before we reach the end of the line, 180. Do 180. Please, do 180. Please, this is one more miles per hour. We're almost at the end of the line. There it is, 180, please. No, we're slowing down, that's it, emergency brake. Where's the emergency brake? I don't know where it is. This thing doesn't have an emergency brake. Doesn't have an emergency brake. Ah!
The Stellar Express, 161 miles per hour. The Ice Train, 179 miles per hour. Now it's time for one of my favourite electric locomotives, the TGV. I don't know what it stands for, but some, probably something awesome or something French. But let's get this amazing electric beast moving. Come on, TGV. I'm, this, I want the TGV to go faster, and, you know, no doubt it would. But I want us to actually see how fast it can actually go. So, and I want to check the inside quick. Oh, the inside's quite nice. Could be better, but it actually looks quite nice. Oh, we got plug sockets. That's quite cool. At least, at least we have plug sockets. We can actually charge our phone or our iPad or something. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115. Come on, TGV. Come on. Come on. Come on, my pretty. You're the you're the fastest electric locomotive there is, and you're French, so you're supposed to be good at things. But come on, you French electric thingamabob. Go as fast as you can. One three two. One three three. One three four. One three five. One three six. One three seven. One three eight. One three nine. One four zero. One nine two. Come on. One nine three. 194, let's go, 195, 196, get to 196, 196, there it is, 197, come on, three more miles per hour to go, 198, come on, 200's almost there, almost there, there it is, hooray, 201, come on, 202, <laughs> look at the speed of this thing, isn't it just ridiculous? Especially for a locomotive like this, it's just ridiculous. Or a train, train locomotive, who cares? But listen to the sound of this thing. Doesn't it just sound amazing? It's going too fast for me to catch up. I can't catch up at 208 miles per hour. I can't catch up. This thing's going way too fast. Look at this thing go. It's just a monster. Isn't it fantastic to see a locomotive or a train like this going at speed at 212 miles per hour. I think that's the fastest it's going to go. No, 121. One, sorry, 213. And it's still going fast. Look at it. At 214. Right, brake. Where's the emergency brake? Stop, 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 stop. Braking, braking, braking. I don't think we have enough speed to stop. Definitely not. This thing is going way too fast. But look at this thing go. And I've just been a great speed run. Oh! God, that thing just did like a weird front flip there. Look at that thing just... That, I don't know what just happened. I want to see the replay on that. Okay, a Cello Express at 161 miles per hour. The Ice Train, 179 miles per hour. The TGV, 214 miles per hour. And now for the High Speed British Steam Train. Well, not Steam. Why did I, why did I just see Steam Train? The High Speed Electric Locomotive for the UK. And I'm, if it's a bit, if I, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel confident that this thing's going to be that fast. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess probably... Like 135 or maybe 125, but I'm not feeling um, very confident that this thing will go that fast. But you know, I'll um, can I even get this thing moving? Move, come on, get, move. Is the pentagraph even up? Pentagraph up. There we go. Move. Come on, come on, come on. There, there we go. The pentagraph wasn't up. That's why. Right. I'm gonna guess this thing can go at least about 125. So that that's that's that is a shame because this is I'm 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 trying to say that my own country can do this, but I don't think I can do this to be honest. So I th I think um this is gonna be the slowest out of all of them, which is a shame. I mean I know it's got it's got the less length, but I I don't feel confident that this thing's gonna be that fast. Right, 103 miles per hour, 104, 105, 106. So far so good. Doesn't really make a doesn't make make much sound though, does it? it? Hasn't really got good, like sound effects. Like it's, it hasn't got any whooshing noise, has it? Oh, oh, hold on, maybe it does. Let me try that again. Come on, come on over here. Come on. No, uh, yeah, those sound effects are alright. Oh, 125 miles per hour. It's, it's, it's already beating that. It's already beating my guess. 128, 129, 130. Oh, hello, hello. This is actually interesting. I wasn't expecting to go this fast. I was expecting only 120. 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140. Could this thing even? Could this thing beat the Acela Express? Because Acela Express did 161. Could this thing even beat the Acela? Oh, hold on! I think the UK is in in for a chance here. Let's let's not throw in the towel just yet, ladies and gentlemen. I think the UK has a chance. Uh, starting to slow down. 157, oh, 158. Can it beat the Acela Express at 161? 
Come on, 159. Come on, only two more miles per hour to go. Come on. 160. We need one more. One more. Or two more, maybe. I don't know. I lost count. Shut up. 161. We need one more to beat the Acela. Can this thing beat the Acela? One more. Can you get there? Can you get there? Please. I said please. Just 161. It's... It's, it's a tie between the UK versus the Americans at the moment. This is It's a tie. I not, can't believe what I'm witnessing, but at the moment, it is a tie. It's literally 161 miles per hour, and, I'm, and I don't know if I can max... I don't think it could go any faster. I think that's it, 161. So, the Soto Express and the high-speed UK-British thing, whatever it's called, is at a tie. What is... Oh, yeah, see, it's starting to slow down now. Why is it always a tie between the UK and the Americans? Why is it always so close between the UK and the Americans? I just don't get it. What, what is that the UK and the Americans have in common? Well, there we are. Top speed is 160 miles per hour. It can't go any faster because it's all starting to level out now. So I think it's starting to slow down. So there's only one thing for it. Hit the emergency brake. Come on. Hit the emergency brake. Is that... Did I, did I hit it? Yeah. Or do I have this on? Oh, okay. It's not very it's not a very good emergency stop, is it? it? Feels very slow. I do like the beeping sound effect in this thing. Because it warns you that your brakes are right, the emergency brake system came on. That's actually uh that's actually quite cool. Oh my god, there's a phone! There's two phones! There's two phones! Oh, I'm gonna make a call. Can I make a call? Can I can I call someone? Hello? Can I call someone? Oh, screw you! And here it comes to a slow failure. Actually, it did much better than I thought it would do, actually. It actually did surprise me. 161, the exactly the same as the Acela Express. What a surprise. So, the Acela Express, 161 miles per hour. The Ice Train, uh, what was that? 179 miles per hour. TGV, 100. No, it wasn't even 100. It was in a 200. 214 miles per hour. And the UK British high speed thing, uh, 100 and. 61, exactly the same as the Acela Express. But obviously, guys, we have to, to declare there has to be only one winner now. And it's obvious that the winner today for the amazing electric speed test thing was indeed the TGV, who achieved the entire top speed. And let's be honest, it's probably the best good looking as well because it's got double decker coaches. I mean, look at that. Yes, double decker's good. And I just, TGV is more famous anyway, and it just looks better my opinion. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this amazing and pretty ridiculous episode of Speed Test. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links will be in the description. And I'll see you guys again next time in another Speed Test. I have no idea what I'm doing, but if you guys um, if you guys want to put your answer of who do you think was the best out of all the little Speed Test locomotive engine things, if you want to put your answer who, th who do you think did the best out of the Acela, the Ice, or the TGV, or the British Loco thing, you guys will need to tell me the name of that thing. But you guys put your answers down of you or what of what you think was the best so guys anyway thank you so much for watching see you guys again next time and remember stay awesome my friends